Hello everyone, welcome to Nishad Karim Art. Today I wanted to have a closer look at paint tubes and understanding what the symbols and words mean and the importance to anyone interested in purchasing a tube of paint such as this. So I hope that after the video you'll have a clearer understanding of how to read and understand the tube basically. So we'll start things off firstly with uh, the name, the brand of the paint is Winsor Newton. There are other brand names, uh, Golden Acrylics, we have Golden Oil Colors, uh, Rembrandt, you have the De La Rowney, uh Oil and Acrylics as well, you have Michael Harding, host of other uh, brand names out there. Uh, this is a simple Winsor Newton Oil Color, Winton Oil Color. So that's for the brand. Uh, then following on from that, you have the name of the paint. In this case, this is a Terra Verde, and then you have the size of the tube in terms of fluid ounces. So this is a 200 mil, and it's 6.75 US, uh, it's fluid, fluid ounces. So this is actually a large tube because you have smaller tubes that come in 50 mil, sometimes you have 100 mil. This is actually quite a large uh, tube of paint because it's almost it's longer than my hand as well, the palm of my hand. So then if we turn to the side, we can see again, if I just point out here to you, the name of the paint. Yeah, Terra Verte. And with, what goes really with the name is basically the pigment and the pigment number. If I could just get that to clear up a bit for you. So there we go. And the pigment is basically, I mean, sometimes you have paint that can be a single pigment, which basically means it's pure, or you have a mix of sometimes two or even three pigments, which basically gives you a different a hue in terms of the range of the color. So for example, in this pigment, we have natural earth, and the number is PG23, and then we have chlorinated copper, uh, Thalo cyanide PG7 and that's so in this tube we have actually two pigments which when you put together give you this color terra verite. Now after you identify the pigment number uh, then you have here it's written vehicle. Now the vehicle is basically the type of binder that particles basically the pigment particles are suspended in. So for example, in this case, the vehicle, the binder is pure linseed oil. Uh, there are other mediums as well in which you can bind paint. But again, for example, if you're using acrylics, you may have a pure acrylic sort of polymer emulsion. So you do have different ones, which, I, which I'll address in a different video. So that's the vehicle, basically the binder for the pigment particles. Then we can move on to uh, the light fastness, which is here, and it says here light fastness 1. Most times you have a rating of 1 to 3, with 1 being the most resistant to fading. Um, so this light fastness here is 1, and then you have at the top here permanence, you have a permanence rating of A. Sometimes you can have, uh, depending on the brand, double A. And basically, permanence is just basically the paint's reactions to light in the environment. So that is your permanence. So we've covered permanence, light firstness. We've gone through the pigment, the vehicle, or the binder. And these are just uh, the same uh, things in a different language. And then as we turn the tube again, on the last sort of like section last side we have this uh, symbol this logo here ap now this stamp here is basically the toxicity label so what that means is you can either have a label of ap as in this case which means that uh, it is non-toxic or you can also have cl which means that the paint contains toxic materials, so toxic materials are present in the paint. So AP just means that it's non-toxic, it doesn't have any toxic 
materials in the paint and if it was CL then you know that there are toxic materials in the paint. The ACMI that is ACMI is simply the Art and Creative Materials Institute certified and they're like the basically the standards in the so in terms of the products being produced and then you have the uh, ASTM standard the D4236 now what this paint tube doesn't show basically is the series number so for example if let me see if I could grab another tube here so here this is another tube just quickly to recap the title the name of the pink cobalt teal you have the light fastness again this is one you have the uh, pigment number there PG 50 uh, then you have here so here is where it has the series but basically the series number is an indicator in terms of the type and cost of the pigment used so this being a series 7 just tells me that this is quite an expensive or costly um, pigment so series 1 means that okay obviously you've used a cheaper pigment compared to a series 7 uh, pigment and again the ASTM there standard there and where it's made and so on so this is golden acrylic it is an acrylic and basically with this one there is no really a clear identification of the series so there you have it guys just quickly to recap the name uh, the brand of the paint the name of the paint the permanence permanence a light fastness one we have the vehicle the binder pour and linseed oil and the pigment natural earth pg23 chlorinated copper phyllocyanine pg7 and then you have the same information in different language again the toxicity uh, label this is a non-toxic which means it's ap if it was if it contained toxic uh, materials it would be cl barcode product code and so on and this one doesn't have a series number and that's what we saw in this one a series 7 so there you have it guys uh next time you go to the art shop and you're looking for a uh, paint that you know in terms of color it's light fastness how long you want it to last it's reaction towards the light and and so on hopefully this video will give you a better understanding of what these symbols mean what the numbers mean and so on so hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe cheers